Well, it's uh, 4.45 a.m. I've had one hour of sleep and I do have a face like soggy popcorn and I'm the only one who's got up. In fact, the other two guys are nowhere in sight. No text messages, nothing. This was the agreed upon time and I'm looking out of the camper and the clouds look absolutely amazing. So I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for them to text me in two hours and say, oh, I forgot. I slept in. When epic shots await, it's too good an opportunity to miss. So I'm going on my own, hiking back down to the beach. And I'm going to get what I hope is going to be an absolutely photogasmic sunrise shot. We shall see. So this is actually quite fascinating. You can see the high tide mark that's gone up the sea stacks. And I reckon it's probably about nipple height to where I am now. So I think a few hours ago when it was dark and we were shooting those Milky Way shots, I reckon we must have been here about the peak of high tide. But I think what I'm gonna do is head in that direction where you can see all the color. I'm gonna go left because there are some fantastic sea stacks down the other side of the beach there. Uh, but I think what I'll do as well is I'll just text the, uh, the two amateurs who couldn't be bothered to make it up here on time, just to let them know which direction I've gone, you know. Well, the light is just, it's just kicking off now. It is, it's just bright pink beautiful shades of blue and pink so because it's just happening real quick I'm not going to really spend much time talking about the shot but I'll just show you the back of the camera and you'll get an idea of what I've framed up here all of these purples pinks and yellows and blues were absolutely mind-blowing I have a feeling that Hopewell Rocks is probably going to be a regular landscape photography haunt for me. And having a world-class location like this just a few hours from home is one of the many reasons that I moved to the Maritimes. So right now what I'm doing is basically just reactive photography uh, because the light is so ever-changing and, it, and it's fast, right? The, the changes are just... You can't predict them. So I'm kind of pointing my camera at interesting sea stacks, but at the same time trying to frame things up in such a way that I capture the best of the color and the shapes. Oh, man, just look at this, this is just unbelievable. And I remember talking to uh, Ian Plant about this in an interview. He said, do you do, you do he asked the question, do you do sort of planned photography or is it reactive and uh, my answer was both of course uh, and, and in situations like this it's almost like almost pointless to sort of wreck it and do those pre-compositions when there's no light you just capture the best arrangement of shapes because as soon as that light kicks off uh, it just that dictates where you're going to put yourself and what you're going to be looking at This image, I shot two handheld horizontal frames and then stitched them together in Photoshop to create this Vertorama. And I'll be honest with you, the colours were kind of strange, almost had a HDR look to it. But you get what you get, don't you? And I had a feeling that things were only going to get better. I reckon I've already got two pretty strong shots right now. I'm going to go back to those main stacks right at the entrance 
because the, look at this, this is what's going on in the background here. So a few minutes ago, I had some absolutely glorious light, not just in the clouds, but also side light on the sea stacks. And just when I framed up my favorite arrangement of subjects, the sun just went behind a huge cloud. And looking at it, I don't know if there's much chance of it coming back. But yeah, this arrangement of sea stacks with beautiful clouds and gorgeous side light, oh. It was almost perfect. I'll show you this composition. So I, I love how from this angle This stack just almost looks like it's about to just collapse when I walked over there and looked back towards it It's a completely different shape. It doesn't seem so narrow at the base So it's, it's this angle that you're looking at right now that gives it that more precarious look so if I just darken this a little bit, you'll see the clouds are quite interesting, but the side light just isn't there. So this is a shot from early where I did get that lovely sunlight just coming from the side and just licking all of those cliffs. And I do like that shot, but I'm a little bit happier with this arrangement. It's almost the same really, but I just had a bit more time because the light wasn't kicking off. I just had a bit more time to kind of refine the edges of the frame. So now I've got what I feel is the ideal composition, but I ain't got the light and that's that's just how it goes, isn't it? You know one hour of sleep shooting all night long. That's what I get for my troubles But I gotta say I'm quite impressed with this Sigma uh, 14 to 24 2.8 if you're watching Sigma, you know, I'm not getting paid to mention this so Get in touch. Maybe I'll talk more about it and give people a bit of a spiel but but now that I'd framed up a composition, would the light return to give those cliffs that glorious glow? Well, I waited and here it is. The sun has popped out and now I've got that gorgeous side light on this stack, the cliffs and these boulders over here. Absolutely magnifique. So I'll process this image and if it turns out to be any good, you know, here's the shot. video there were lots of comments telling me I should clone out the ropes and signs so here you go but which version do you prefer and why post a comment and let me know what you think now do you remember those other two guys that were supposed to show up what time do you call this you're a bit late I'm a bit late I was outside the camper at 445 as agreed Neither of you two were there. I mean, amateurs. Talk about amateurs. I was in the parking lot at 441. Which parking lot? Because it wasn't mine. 200 meters away from your camper. Oh. You, you, you jumped the gun, I think, a little. So I was a bit premature, is what you're saying. I hate to say it, but maybe. Because I was being really righteous on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> These amateurs, where are they? We were there. So how many hours of sleep did you get? Uh, two. Two? Two, we, well, one and a half-ish. I got one, yeah, yeah. about one. Yeah. What, what's your face like this morning? A well-beaten wombat. Not bad. Not bad for, you know, a pressure, a pressure ask. I was quite impressed with that. Although it's conjured up really depressing images. <laughs> now I just, I just want to cry. But it was worth it. The hour and a half of sleep was worth it. it yeah, we were just talking about this. And it's worth it because we got good light, good-ish light and a few good shots. It would not have been worth it if we'd have just had great. I tell you what I'd like though, fog. Oh, We yeah. could get, I bet it's foggy all the time here. It is. I'm coming back in the fog. If we get fog in the forecast, I'm coming back. But then I guess you, you've got to get the same thing with the tide, right? It's all yeah. about the tide. Yeah. Although, having said that, did you see the high tide mark on the main arch that we came in? Yeah. So I reckon it didn't really get any higher than sort of like the back of the beach not far from where we kind of got chased out. You wouldn't want to have been standing in it though. No, 
probably not it's gold but you know if you're watching this at home kids you know and you're thinking of going out and doing stupid dangerous stuff don't be like us hypocrites be safe and be good and follow the rules because that's what life's all about these days isn't it do you remember this composition from last week's video when all i had was boring light and blue skies well you knew i'd come back to this because as the saying goes good things come to those who get one hour of atrocious sleep I'm feeling like I'm done. Are you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah the I'm light's done. done for the day. And it's time, time for some breakfast. I mean, three hours of sleep. I mean, a little bit of catch up. You three. got three. Yeah, I got a whole three. How? Wow. Have, have you got medication? <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, I, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> no, just uh, after a long after a long day and staying up till twelve thirty, I, I actually got to sleep. Yeah. Are you one of those lucky buggers? That yeah, yeah. Just, your head I hits the pillow. Yes. Yeah. It's so unfair. Sorry. It really is. Sorry. It really is. Because I, I just go to bed and worry about not being able to get to sleep, and that keeps me awake. <laughs> or not being able to get up and catch the sunrise. And that keeps me yeah. awake too. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But there's a lot to worry about when you go to sleep. Yeah. But did you guys get a good shot? Oh, I think I got something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The light uh, was, a, you had great advice to get us out here early. The light was best actually before sunrise. We yeah. had some real And we beautiful... were on time, but somebody was a little premature. Well, you know, they say this. Can you corroborate that he was here early? Or is he just bullshitting me? Uh, no, I think we were here early I, I enough. I pulled in ahead of him. But we couldn't uh, we couldn't get in through the gates. Sorry. So uh, we uh, we walked, you know, if you had had two or three more minutes patience, we would have, <laughs> <laughs> we would have caught you. I don't have those. Um, so, well, I'll apologize in advance now because some things were said about you guys as I was hiking down alone about tardiness and commitment and professionalism some things were said so i apologize now i take it back but i'm not going to delete the clips <laughs> they're going to stay in there good usable footage is good yeah, usable footage exactly right well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the old thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to tickle my bell and uh, thanks to you guys for coming out with me and i guess i'll see you in the next one bye see ya